Hey there, and welcome to another Plaky tutorial. By now you should be familiar with creating and managing a board. If not, you can always check out our Managing Boards video on our website or our YouTube channel. For this tutorial, we'll go over how to use board views. Board views are the different ways you can view your data on screen and Plaky offers different board view options that you can optimize to your liking. You have the table view, the Kanban view, the Gantt view, and the private view. You also have access to features such as filters, sorting, and hiding data. You have so many options at your disposal to make your project management process nice and simple. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Table views are much like spreadsheets you would see in Excel, where you have cells, known as fields, used to store data. These fields are organized into rows and columns. These rows display the task or item name and columns display what criteria falls into. The table view is especially valuable for tasks that require extensive data entry, complex information tracking, or in-depth analysis. The table view also has a great feature where you can customize fields to represent various data types such as text, numbers, dates, and more. Teams benefit from the ability to sort, filter, and customize fields, providing a comprehensive and organized overview of their data within a centralized workspace. The Kanban view is a great choice that separates your tasks as cards and organizes them based on status fields so that you can keep better track of your progress. This visual approach allows teams to be better equipped to identify bottlenecks or areas that need attention. Users can easily drag and drop cards between fields to update task status to better organize their workflow. It offers an effective and easy moving real-time representation of progress for teams that need to get tasks finished quickly. You also have the option to divide tasks into groups in the settings page. From there, you'll be able to choose which fields you want to show or hide to better prioritize your work. The Gantt view in Plaky simplifies project management by visually representing tasks and timelines in a dynamic Gantt chart format. Tasks are displayed horizontally along a timeline to better track progress. The left sidebar consists of all items that have value in at least one Gantt field, date or timeline. In the central section, items timelines are displayed as rectangles and users can customize the time period by day, week, month, quarter, or year. For better usage, users have the auto fit feature to snap right to the relevant task in the timeline in the right time period and the Now feature is for tracking current and ongoing projects. This chart also offers features for you to zoom in and out of a timeline, filter and sort criteria, export, and search through your projects for easy navigation. By default, tasks in the Gantt chart adopt item names, but users can select label criteria such as date, status, person, or timeline field names. There is nothing worse than getting lost in an overloaded board, especially if you have a really big project with lots to do. So to keep you from being overwhelmed, you have the filter feature to help you stay on track. You can apply filters to board views in Plaky to focus on specific data. Filters allow you to narrow down the information displayed based on criteria such as creation date, status, assignee, numbers, and more. So for example, let's say you've been added to a task and you need to find out who it's for, who's working on it, and when it's due. You can select the assignee, reviewer, and due date tabs to narrow down your search. The sort feature allows users to arrange items by specific criteria such as creation date, title, priority, etc. in either an ascending or descending order. Having access to such great features sure does make life easier. It would be a shame if you got your board views looking just the way you want them and couldn't save them. 
well, don't you worry, because we thought of that too. Within the same board, each view that you create, you have the option to save them so that you can view multiple boards anytime you need to. This is great for when you have different workflows or need to view the same data in multiple ways. So you have the freedom to use both the filter and sort features to configure each view to your liking. Go to the meatballs menu in your view type and select duplicate. Apply the appropriate criteria and rename it. And that's all there is to it. If you need to use a particular board view for a personal use, Plaky offers the very convenient private view feature. You can create a personalized board view that won't be visible to the rest of your team. To access it, go to the meatballs menu next to your board view and select set as private. You can also set your board view to private when creating a new board view below the name entry. And now you're all caught up with views. But before I turn you loose, let's go over a quick recap to summarize what we've learned. Use the table view for a simple and tabular spreadsheet to better enter and track data, the Kanban view to better track progress and project workflow, the Gantt timeline view to see and plan all of your tasks visually on a timeline, use the filter feature to focus on specific data, the sorting feature to arrange items and declutter your workspace, save multiple board views and quickly switch between them, and finally, use private views for personalized setups only visible to you. And that's all there is to it. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. For more information on how to use Plakey, you can visit our website at www.plakey.com and find more videos like this or visit our YouTube channel. That's all for now, and we'll see you next time.